Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to my Crash Bandicoot 4 walkthrough. Uh, in today's episode, we're about to do the mission called... Well, at least begin the, uh, today's episode with the truck stopped. So let's do it. You'll probably recognize this level. Uh, we did a similar one with Crash, but now we need to do it with Tana. Okay, this we did unlock is... this level in the previous episode. Since we have to play with Han on the first time then. Uh, we make sure to grab that box. Do a slam and voila. So, uh, the only difficult part about this level is coming up real soon. I'll show you in just a second. It is annoying as hell, trust me. I'm not sure why, but it keeps happening every single time for me. Hold on. Um, grab this one. Go back. There we go. Okay. Make sure to get these without destroying that nitro. Uh, someone did ask me in the previous episode uh, why I don't destroy the nitro. Well, why the nitro uh, boxes doesn't count. They do count for 100%. But you'll destroy them by the end of the levels by hitting, you know... A special crate. So yeah, keep that in mind. Let's go. Okay, here's the tricky jump. Uh, you'll need to jump and... Oh yeah. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Might as well just die. There we go. Not a perfect run. Oh well. Okay, we'll do this again. That tricky jump is so annoying, you need to bounce off of the TNT box directly up to that other crate above it. It is frustrating, since I don't know what I'm doing wrong at times. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Come on. Okay. There you go. That's how you're supposed to do it. And make sure to grab that crate as well. And yeah. That's the difficult part done. Now it's pretty straightforward. Um, there we go. We'll have our hidden gem just above us. Deal with that. Here we go. Okay, so as you guys can see, we need to go straight forward, but before we do that, uh, let me just take care of these crates. Go this way, and here's the hidden gem. There you go. Okay. By the way, make sure to leave a like on this video, you know, subscribe, turn on those notifications by hitting that bell icon. So that you don't miss any of my upcoming Crash Bandicoot 4 uh, walkthroughs. This is a 100% walkthrough. We'll, you know, grab every single gem in each and every level. Every single crate, you know. So, yeah, make sure to stick around for more. Nice. Alright. Um... Okay, that's bad timing. Hold on. Can't really see the flame. There we go. Okay. Jump! Oh, that was close. <laughs> um. Oh yeah, this is not a tricky part. I mean, I'll show you guys. We need to trigger these boxes to you know appear. So jump this way. Here it is. Alright, but you see, there's a crate, well, box, crate, whatever you guys want to call it, over there. Um, and you need to be at a specific angle to be able to, you know, grab it. So, this can take some time. Well, a couple of seconds, hold on. Might as well show you the struggle I'm going through here. Oh, there we go, okay. Done, nice. Let's go. And there we go. All right. 
Now, in just a second, after the cutscene we're about to get, you'll see something you'll seen before. Um, you'll need to do it all over again, obviously, since this is a, you know, a separate level. But we did do this part with Crash. So as you guys saw there in the cutscene, Tana is the one that actually opened up this gate for some reason, not sure why. But yeah, we've done this before with Crash, you know, it's the same thing here, just, you know, make sure to grab every single box, just follow the fruits, pretty much. The truck will also destroy most of the boxes, so if you do miss one or two, don't worry, the truck will probably destroy them for you. But uh, the only ones you need to really be careful not to miss is the ones that are, you know, higher up. Uh, we'll get a few ramp ramps uh, we need to go through. But okay, uh, here's our checkpoint. Here we go. Um, I believe we have a ramp coming up. There we go. And there's the box. We got it. Nice. Another one. There we go. Yeah, this really bugs me that I, you know, failed at that jump. I would have a perfect relic now. Come on, man. Uh, oh well. That's how you get 100% at this level at least. There you go. Level complete. Yeah, hidden three maximum... Yeah, die three times at max. Uh, get all crates. Yeah. There you go. And uh, let's continue. Uh, we'll do another level. Of course, uh, I've mentioned this multiple times. Each and every episode, I'll do at least two levels. So yeah. Um, so we are back here. Let me just take a look at the new skin. We got Bright Now. <laughs> I love it. Um... Yeah, we'll use that skin. Why not? So, uh, we also unlocked this level over here. Jet Boat Jetty. Let's do it. This is one of the easier levels in my opinion, uh, but that's just me. I'll show you guys in just a second. I really do love these pirate themed uh, levels. They're awesome. Alright, so we'll grab these. So, the hidden gem in, in this level is pretty well hidden, to be honest with you. Uh, I missed it the first time I did this level. So yeah, I'll show you guys where. And it, it's so annoying, you know. It's on a place you wouldn't bother even to look at, you know? Okay. Here we go. Let's go. Nice. Okay. Slam these. Destroy these ones. And here we go! We got our jet ski! Well, jet board, I'm not sure what to call these, but um, yeah. There we go. There's another flashback tape. Nice. Checkpoint and bonus level. 
Okay, so, um, this bonus level, it's not that difficult as it looks, just, you know, hit the TNT, wait for it, then jump at the right minute, well, right second. Um, same thing here, pretty much. Here we go, okay, so just wait until it's at two, at least, and then, yeah. That was pretty close, I would suggest that you guys wait until it's, you know, on one, and then jump. But yeah, that's all 29 boxes. At this point you should have 71 boxes. So, make sure that you have not missed anything along the way. Okay, so this part of the level is... Well, it's not that difficult, but it can be annoying. There we go, okay. When I slide like that, it sometimes I manage to, you know, die for some reason, you know, slide too far and drown. That is so, so annoying. Since that's the only way to do it. So the timing is key, pretty much. Just, just destroy these. Oh, come on! Oh my god. There we go. Okay, so we're still in a perfect run. We got a chance on the perfect relic, so that's good. Oh, that was close. And here, my friends, is the hidden gem. I told you, there's a plate. You would never look at that plate. I, I, me personally did not check that at all the first time around, so it is well hidden. In a place that's, you know, not obvious. But but at the same time, you know... Oh my god, can't believe I didn't take a look, you know. Um, so, avoid these bombs, obviously. Grab the crates. And here we go. You can only do this part of the level if you, you know, grab the green gem that we got, I believe it was, in two episodes ago. So, yeah. There we go. Pretty much the same thing here, you know, just avoid the traps. Destroy the boxes, nothing special. Okay. And be patient, by the way. Don't rush things. That's when you, you know, make a mistake. There, there we go. That's that part of the segment done. Well, of the level done, not segment. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Um, ah, this is fairly easy. It's nothing we haven't done before. Just use these uh, powers to, you know. Oh, yeah, by the way, there's two hid hidden crates above us. There's one, there's two. There you go. So yeah, um, yeah. There's nothing special about this level, really. There you go. We got the mask back. So now we can afford getting hit at least once. And I know the perfect place to do that. Uh, all right. There we go. Ooh, okay. Okay, I've never gotten perfect on this before, to be honest with you. I actually haven't. And I've played most of the levels multiple times now. So, yeah, I am impressed if I get perfect relic on my first try now when I'm replaying the game. You know, 
for you guys. So, this would be awesome. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Just destroy this TNT box, grab the checkpoint. Okay. Now, this is a part of the level that's not difficult, but it is annoying. Uh, try to lead the enemies into the bombs. That's my best advice here, pretty much. And avoid the cannons, obviously. So, I'll show you guys a perfect example in just a second. Here we go. Yep. Nine. Okay, that's perfect. I didn't even have to try to lure them in. That's good. Come on. Thank you. Oh, dude. Really? Oh, my God. Come on. No. Oh, well. Lost the mask, but still, this could be a perfect run, and I'm, yeah, I love it. Okay. We do have a boss battle, though. I forgot about this. <laughs> oh my god, okay, let's go. It's easy, just, you know, again, try to lure the enemies into the tentacles, pretty much. That's the way you do damage to the boss. There you go. Nice. Okay. Three more hits, and that's it. Nice. Come on. Come on. Yes, there we go. <laughs> Love it. Actually got a perfect relic this time. Nice. There we go. Well, let's see if it's actually happening. Uh, yep, got every single gem. And there we go. Perfect relic earned. Awesome. Nice. I think we have a cutscene coming up here as well. This guy. <laughs> Alright, so we found a new mask. Akanu. I believe we get to try it out in the next level. Since we do unlock a new dimension. Yeah, nice. By the way, I leave a link down in the description as usual if you guys would like to check out any of my previous, you know, Crash Bandicoot 4 walkthrough episodes. Full playlist down below, so check it out. So, our new skin we just unlocked is this one. We'll use it in the next level. Um, but yeah, that is going to be it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think so far about this walkthrough. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Peace. Bye.